On March 8, 2015, more than 450 Minera Academy students, family members, and community leaders got together for the 8th Annual Fundraising Luncheon, rallying together to raise much-needed funds and to ultimately secure a better future for our next generation. The event kicked off with a silent auction, which included valuable art and goods that were donated by Minaret Academy parents and community members. Families of students from every grade level, led by homeroom moms, participated in this effort by creating themed gift baskets, which parents and students were proud to see on display before the program. After a delicious lunch was served, the program started with a moving recitation of Surah Al Qiyamah by Minaret Academy's fourth graders. Afterwards, Minaret Academy principal Shabnam Hussein welcomed the attendees and shared some good news. I welcome all of you on behalf of my board of trustees, my faculty and staff in joining me in celebrating our students. I am very excited today to also inform you that we are walking the path towards school accreditation with WASC in tune with the upward trend. We had the pleasure of announcing our seventh grade opening last week. Afterwards, Minaret Academy students surprised their parents and community members with two inspiring performances. Esteemed community members and leaders also had the chance to address the audience. So these children are literally kids who have a light in them. It is our job to kindle that light to make sure it is not extinguished. Well, I registered my daughter into the school and I'll tell you the one reason why I did so was not so that she could become Hafiz of Quran, not so that she can learn about Islamic history or even Arabic. All of these things for me were like icing on top of the cake. The one reason why I wanted my daughter in this school is because I saw that the school had an environment that was based on Islamic fundamentals. They taught the respect for elders. You know, just seeing what we've seen so far and what we will be seeing later, it brought to my mind, honestly, the, an instance in which Amr al-Khattab, he was sitting once with his companions during his khidafa when he was uh, the leader of the believers. And he said, my wish, is that I, I wish we're sitting in a hall like this, in a room like this. And it's not filled with gold or it's not filled with silver or rubies or gems. But rather it's filled with the likes of Abu Ubaid ibn Jarrah. 
radiallahu anhu. You see, re, you know, the physical resources, the monetary resources, that wasn't ever in our history what limited us. It'll be there. But what's more important and what's most important is the human resource. What kind of individuals are we building? What kind of leaders are we making for the future? People will not remember what you, you wore or what you drove or where you lived, but they will remember these you know, special moments in which you were able to really impact them, you know, touch their hearts, change their lives, right? Uh, and inspire them. Afterwards, Brother Nino Habushi put his sense of humor on full display as he moderated a live auction of Islamic art. He also got some support from Minaret Academy students. I found a lamp. It's dusty. Let's wipe it together. Assalamu alaikum. Who are you? Who are you? I am your good looking, well dressed, funny hat genie. Who are you? I'm Aladdin. I'm Nuruddin. I'm Zuadin. We come from an Islamic school. school. Is that the minaret? Yes. yes. The good school in Anaheim? Yes. yes. What's the first wish? I wish for a crystal mirror. <laughs> Look at this. Your wish is being granted. Let me look at myself. I wish for a display of the two most treasured names in my heart. Boom! Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Who's the last one? Give me your last wish. This one's not for you. I pray to Allah the Almighty that you will be able to sell all these items for the highest price possible so my school will get the money and continue to flourish and provide us with the best Islamic education. Ameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Afterwards, student council representatives proudly introduced the grand finale, a video presentation by the sixth grade elementary graduating class of 2015 to honor all the teachers who have taught them throughout the years. After the event, many parents shared how Minaret Academy has left a positive mark on those children's and families' lives. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hiba. I have three kids at Minaret Academy. I absolutely love it. A wonderful Islamic environment, wonderful academics. Alhamdulillah, one of them has graduated and she's maintaining her Islamic identity and uh, Muslim character. I, and I thank Minaret Academy for that. Thank you. All in all, it was a successful and inspiring event helping raise funds for Minaret Academy and bringing together the community to support a worthy cause.